more breaking news. This is out of La Vista, where three teens were hit by a train. 19 year old Nicholas Wilson died at the scene. 18 year old Dylan McHenry was injured and is now listed in fair condition at Nebraska Medicine. It happened near 118th and Olive Streets behind a large industrial park. That's where we join our Chase Moffat live, who spoke with the third teen involved in Chase. You spoke with Edward Zelensky earlier today. What did he have to say? Now, yeah, he tells me that this was not the first time that he and his two friends had been down to this area near and on the train tracks, and it's not a difficult area to get to. In fact, a dirt road off the main road. But above me is the bridge where Zelensky says he and his two friends were on Monday night when they saw the train coming, forced to run for their lives. We were just like looking at the waterfall and all the graffiti there. Like a lot of people go there to hang out. And then a train started coming, and we just, you know, started running. Running to get out of the way. Eddie Zelinski says that's all he could do Monday night when he and two friends were sent scrambling from this railroad bridge when an oncoming train was barreling down the tracks. I ran, and I just jumped off the side, and then my friends didn't uh, jump off. They were hit by the train. La Vista police identify them as 19-year-old Nicholas Wilson, who passed away at the scene, and 18-year-old Dylan McHenry, who was injured. Zelensky says over the years, the three had become good friends. Nick and Dylan, they're like some of my best friends. Uh, I mean, we went to Papio South together and just graduated. Zelensky recalls those terrifying moments, explaining how he jumped to the ground off the bridge where the railroad tracks run over a creek. Zelensky then turned around to find his two friends were badly hurt. I rolled one over and made sure he was breathing and then just looking for my other friend. Zelensky says he then ran into the water to find Wilson. By then, rescue crews arrived, including a medical helicopter. McHenry was taken to Nebraska Medicine. In the aftermath, Zelensky says he hopes this serves as a warning to others. So that, like, you wouldn't think any of, like that would ever happen. And that happened so fast. Now, a spokesperson for the Papillion La Vista School District tells me the three did, in fact, graduate from Papillion La Vista South High School this past year. Now, they did release a statement that is from the principal, Jeff Johnson, saying, quote, Today is a sad day for the Papillion La Vista South Titans. Nicholas was a 2016 graduate who was very personable and came from an amazing family. Our heart breaks for them. Chase, at this point, is there any cause or concern to actually restrict that access to the area near those railroad tracks? Yeah, Mallory, in fact, the La Vista Police Department says they are working on that. And tonight, Jessica Gill will dig into those details live at 6 o'clock. All right, thank you. Chase Moffat reporting live tonight.